How do you say my name is Billy, man? <laughs> yeah. How do you say that? Well, how do you say that in Spanish? Me llamo Verdi, man. Mi nombre es Verdi, man. Soy Verdi, man. Soy, soy, soy um, Hola, soy Verdi, man. And this is... Manta teo concierto, toca el concierto. And no rock solo. No rock solo. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to Madrid. Thank you. Sorry for the smell. Uh, there is rabies in the streets. Rabbits. Rabbies. 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 Trash. Rabies. Trash. Very <laughs> Because we are trying to lay off our mayor. Right. A strike of rabbies. Oh. Uh, right. Yeah. Sorry for this man. Well, he probably doesn't care. He's in a big house somewhere, isn't he? Yeah. Protected from the rabbits. Protect for the rabbits. Protect the rabbits. Protect the rabbits. Yeah. yeah. Uh, thank you for coming. Why didn't you come before? Um, because I only go to places that smell like rubbish. <laughs> and I knew that this would happen this time. I planned it all. Yeah. So is the mayor? What has the mayor done that's bad? Oh. What has the mayor done that is bad? Why is the mayor a bad man? Eh, uh, Ana Botella. Ana Botella. That's you know that his name? Yeah. Right. Is he evil? evil? It is evil. Uh, right. <laughs> you right. see, we have we have uh, an evil um, prime minister. Ah, oh, yeah, Cameron. Yeah, he's evil. And all his friends he's not Cameron. are evil. Cameron. Cameron. That's Cameron. That, oh, that means <laughs> no. it was. Really? No. No, yeah, no, no Cameron. <laughs> Down yeah. with Cameron. Bergman, uh, how could you describe your own music? Um, it's the best music in the world. It's better than Gary Glitter. It's better than ABBA. Uh, and they're the only two bands in the world. So, mine's the best in the world. Billy Joel um, used to have a band. And then he went solo. Um, better than um, um, Linford Christie. Oh. Yeah, um, I can run faster than Usain Bolt. Are you? Yeah, um, I'm less evil than David Cameron. Um, I, my dad is an accountant. And the universe is massive. Okay. <laughs> uh, in a music documentary, what's uh, called Scratch? Uh, one of the guys who was interviewed said if you practice one hour during one whole year, all time, every day, uh, when the year is over, uh, you can be the best of the world in that discipline. How much time have you been practicing the beatbox art? I think it's important to remember that in this day and age when social media can unite us, that the old power structures and the elites that govern don't need to be there, we can be more powerful than that. Okay, uh, how do you write your songs? Uh, I mean, do you use uh, cryptographic symbols or something? Uh, how do you remember it? It's funny you should ask that. I've been interested in hunting since I was a kid. Not in promoting it, but in de-promoting it. I don't want people to hunt for food. I think they should grow their food. So if you can grow chicken, you should grow chicken. If you can plant chicken, you should try try planting some chicken in the ground and see what happens. Yeah, bury, chicken bury some chicken. Bury an egg, see if it grows. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've seen they do that in China actually. They what? Like is it a hundred year eggs, a thousand year eggs, but they're not that old, not some of that. Yeah, and they taste horrible. In fact, because you you bury it in in urine, and like the urine soaks into the egg. This is a real fact. It really happens. <laughs> really, seriously, you can look it up. Uh, I have seen you uh, in a YouTube video with a giant head. Big Man was the song. Uh, what the what, what the fuck? Uh, what about this project? What hip hop is? Uh, what's that? What's Big know. Man? Yeah, um, I don't know. Time travel is essentially impossible because you can't go faster than that. So that's the thing. You become infinitely heavy as you try to approach the speed of light. So that's the problem. And you go? Uh, <laughs> do you go to do any more uh, in BBC like very man time travel? Um, well, I, I can time travel. I'm the only person in the world that can. You can only. Uh, Nobody. Yeah, no one else but me. Well, <laughs> most people travel through time at the rate of one second per second. I travel through time slightly faster than that, which gives me an advantage. Wow. Yeah, but not a huge advantage, like an imperceptible advantage. That no one can see, not even I can see it, but it's there. But you are now in the future? Yeah, I'm, I'm living like point. Zero 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 one of a second in the future. Whoa. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> it's amazing. Shit, it's like also I can see in ultraviolet. 
Um, I can <laughs> smell <laughs> for miles. Um, yeah, it's amazing. I can actually move also. I can, I'm faster than Usain Bolt at thinking up songs. And you know, but not, not at speed, but I can move slower than anyone else in the world. Yeah? Yeah. You can improve? Yeah. <laughs> Check it out. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm moving that way, but you can't tell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious, dude. Like, like, in, in like, I don't, know, I don't know, how far is it? I think in about five million years, I would get to that post. <laughs> <laughs> It's amazing. It's amazing. It is amazing. Isn't it? It's amazing. Uh, How are you though? Let's talk about you. It's not about me. <laughs> what are you doing here? How did you first get I'm into I'm from Italy? Abila. I'm a <laughs> child who wants to study journalism. <laughs> I'm a child who wants to study. I'm a child who wants to study journalism. So I can't count. No. I can't. No. I can't. Say it again. Yeah. Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> My life's amazing. Do you know what I do, right? Sometimes I go into the park and I just stare at a stranger. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Because oh. I, I enjoy uh, how that makes them feel. Because I can feel other people's emotions. Um, yeah, which is something we can all do if we try, if we really connect with ourselves. Yeah. All of our hearts are bigger than we can know. Praise be. Love is amazing. Love is amazing. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever been in love? Yeah. Have you ever held a woman in your hand? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, man. <laughs> uh, where are we? What is this place? I don't know. Penelope. Is this this is the office of Penelope? Yeah. I think. Who is Penelope? <clears throat> Penelope Cruz? No, no, it's not. Does she own Penelope. this office? No. <laughs> Have you ever held Penelope Cruz in your hand? Oh, many times. <laughs> amazing. Yeah, she's very small. She's like, yeah, he's yeah. like, hi Penelope, hi, yeah. jump, <laughs> jump Penelope, okay, say hello, hello, hello. Hi <laughs> Penelope, oh, oh, okay, okay. Penelope. <laughs> Sorry, there's an infinite chasm down here. She's gonna fall forever. <laughs> Penelope, she can't oh. hear you. There's no, you'll never get her back. Tiny Penelope Cruz has fallen down an infinite chasm down the back. Penelope the Cruz is dead. Sorry. Well, now she's fallen down an infinite chasm, she'll never die. Eh? Yeah, she's, she's all the information that was Penelope Cruz has been lost in the black hole. <laughs> <laughs> it's serious. Oh, Penelope Cruz. Oh, Penelope Cruz. Oh, Penelope Cruz. Oh, Penelope Cruz. Is that a hole? Is that a hole? Is that a hole? Is that a hole? Agujero negro? Agujero negro. Black hole. A black hole? Agujero yeah. negro. Yes. That's way sexier than a black hole. I'd yeah. fuck a black hole. Could you fuck a black hole? Oh no. <laughs> Your penis would disappear. You'd be sucked into the black hole. Penis oh. first. Your penis would be yeah. like strung into a piece of space spaghetti. <laughs> and you know. It's like uh, Asians say, no? You, you, boom. Your penis in an uh, Asian? In the ocean. In a, in a, yes, What's in the ocean. ocean? In a Russian? A in a Russian? 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 Basketball. No, put a basketball in a Russian. Put a Russian in a basketball. Asian. Ancients. No, ancients. Oh, it's, it's so <laughs> strong. Asians. Uh, Chinese. <laughs> Japanese. <laughs> oh, Asians! Asians. Would you want to put your penis in an Asian? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Where? I'm confused. Where are you? You want to put an Asian in a black hole? No. Ah, in a black hole. Oh, a nation in a oh, black hole. Oh, a nation in a black hole. <laughs> you want to put an entire nation in a black hole? Which one? Thousands <laughs> <laughs> of Chinese people in a you black hole. You want to put the whole of China in a black hole? That is racist, sir. Oh, racist. no. <laughs> Fuck. My mum is Chinese. I am. Yeah. I'm sorry. So I'm no, sorry. sorry. For what? I don't. Yeah, how, yeah, exactly. You should be congratulations, your mother is yeah, Chinese, that's what you should say. Congrats! Thank you. In, in England, that's what we say to anyone on the street. Congratulations, your mother is Chinese. Ah, yeah? Yeah. And then you push them into a black hole. <laughs> Every day.
<laughs> That's how David Cameron was born. He came out of a wormhole. He's doing this, the producer's doing this, which means to shut the fuck up. This is bullshit. This isn't going anywhere. This is nonsense. You're supposed to ask some questions. Now you're talking about putting China into a black hole. We're going to get sued and shit. At least you didn't say putting any Arab country into a black hole because then there'd be a fat one. No one likes that. Hey, I've got an idea. Why don't you go around to the mayor's house and start a sort of revolution of sort of take control yeah. by because he doesn't care about rubbish. I think what he cares about is what does he care what does the mayor do? Golf probably. Um, maybe you should like tip the rubbish into golf courses. Then he goes, golf courses? Yeah. Does the mayor like golf? Yeah. Right. Don't do that. <coughs> MTC Montato Concierto is a crowdfunding platform which allows that your favorite artists uh, come to your city for a solo. Uh, what do you think about the musical industry changes uh, specifically? Those changes uh, that are approaching public and artists like MTC? I think the music industry needs to change. It's been too focused on oil and we need to move to renewables. It's the only way. Everyone knows it. You know, the seas are acidifying the oceans of warming. Um, yeah, we have to move to renewables. Uh, in Norwalk Solo, our magazine, uh, we speak uh, a lot about the Creative Commons. Uh, we think it's a great tool for changing musical industry and culture. Uh, what's your opinion about copyleft for open license? Okay, this is true. I had a conversation with um, a woman called Mikaela the other day, who um, is starting off a physical Creative Commons license, which is modelled on the Creative Commons licences which currently exist, um, but it's for open source hardware. Um, well, actually, not open source hardware, sorry, because that's open source. It's for it's a, a new category of um, sort of licensing of physical objects. So at the moment, you can either have a patent or you don't have a patent. And patents are very expensive and they exist to service uh, big industry, so your tooling is what you can patent, your actual processes. Mm -hmm. But this is the actual components themselves, so people can actually build on that. And this is new, so that will enable the world to generate uh, a lot more products on a smaller scale, a smaller industry will be able to sort of contribute in stages so people can be making components which can then form part of the design for larger things and you will then genuinely get sort of a trickle down or a trickle back um, remuneration for sales of Product. So that was a good question. <laughs> <laughs> this is better. Mm. Uh, uh, do you know Forty Towers? The um, TV show? No, it's, John, it's, John Cleese TV show? It's uh, banned in England. It's bad? No, it's banned. It's not allowed in England. Ah, it's not allowed. They're not allowed to show it because they deemed it offensive. Forty Towers? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. No, England's <laughs> under martial law. Uh, has been for 25 years. The great dictator David Cameron. Um, we dare not speak his name. In, vain in the UK, he has the country on lockdown. Actually, this is a fact. England has more um, security cameras than any other country CCTV. in the world. I believe that's true. Isn't that true? That is true. Uh, the most surveilled uh, country in the world. I think it's London. Is London, London, London is the most surveilled city in the world. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, that's still pretty fucked up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, well, uh, in Forty Towers, uh, there was a character named Manuel. Hmm. Que, que, si, si. Do you, do you find, does, is, generally is he found racist in this country? Yeah. Um, a few. Is he seen as like a racist character? Yeah. Then you'll be happy to know that he was persecuted by Russell Brand on a telephone call where he phoned him up and um, uh, told, told him on his answer phone that he, that he had sex with his daughter. Uh, the actor, I mean, this is a true fact. Yeah. 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 So you you'll be happy about that. <laughs> I mean, no one in England was happy. Most people were really pissed off about it. Most didn't care actually, but some who were really pissed off about it made a big furore, and then Russell Brand kind of left the country to go and be famous in America, where people didn't care about forty hours as much. But I guess if that had happened in Spain, he would have been lauded as a hero, hmm. which is interesting. But um, <laughs> Manuel uh, went to get a job uh, in the UK and he finished working in the madness of Junkies Hotel. Now Spanish people must leave their country to find a job, uh, a lot of people go to England. Mm -hmm. How do you think the English regards Spanish people? Uh, is it still like in 40 Towers? How? Well there's three questions there aren't there? <laughs> uh, I mean, well, you're saying that people are from Spain, firstly 
people coming from Spain to try and get jobs in England aren't going to have much luck because we've already got loads of people from uh, Eastern Europe who came and did Man loads careers. of work. Well, I know from people from um, Poland mostly, but other sort of Eastern Bloc countries who are, they have an amazing work ethic um, are generally better at what they like. You know, construction jobs are generally better, generally, or mm. more hardworking, or just more more willing to sort of sacrifice more of their time and stuff like that. And they're just brilliant. Uh, but uh, they've left as well now on that because there's there's less work than there was in England. So if Spanish people come over to England looking for work, I don't know if they're going to have a very good time finding it. But um, I mean, yeah, no, I mean, on a, on a, as a separate issue, Spanish people are, are liked in England. I wouldn't admit. <laughs> there's no, I mean, there's, I mean, the Armada was a long time ago, wasn't it? So no one cares anymore. So <laughs> people just think of. Um, you know, the Balearics and Tapas and Paya and, you know, yeah. I don't know, I don't really understand the question. If, if you're saying that, like, how are Spanish people going to be regarded if they're trying, if people in England get racist and start thinking that they're taking jobs No, from no, no racist, uh, it's only the job mission of, of Spanish... Of Spanish uh, people? Yeah. Oh, you just mean there's Spanish people in England? So, you, so all of that shit wasn't... Oh, right. No. Um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. I don't, I don't really see myself as English, to be honest. I see myself as European. Like, I went to Japan a while ago, quite a few times, and um, was struck by how European I am and how Japanese I'm not. And I didn't feel, you know, I never sort of go to any European country and feel out of place. You go to Japan and you're an alien, you know what I mean? And we all feel as alien, I suppose. You know. Um, so I don't know. Okay, I am I'm a man sick, a hip hop singer. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, and I really would like to sing an uh, improvised song for the end of this interview. Could you make the song? The beat? It would be uh, an honor to us. Do you right. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I uh, improvise in Spanish because okay. my English is. Okay. Yeah, the mind is still here. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. you might like, well. Okay. okay. So we used to do a beat? Yeah. Okay. Acabamos la entrevista aquí de Norrox Solo y monta tu concierto.com en la Penélope Con Bernie Man que se llama Darrell Estamos aquí para despedirnos hermanos Venir aquí al concierto, montar tu concierto Desde Alicante o Segovia Ávila Ávila, viene de UK, venimos aquí, cerramos la entrevista, gracias por venir. Yeah. 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 In England, that would just mean like don't do a solo. Yeah. That's fucking great. Like, don't do a guitar solo. Stop <laughs> ranking. That's cool. Um, that was really fun. <laughs> 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 Thanks, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, sorry for.